Hey, Kane from BTI again, uh, doing a little video on some of the uh, Burzman tools that we've started carrying lately. Um, big brand for us, they make really cool tools. Uh, I just took the opportunity to show off, this is my personal kit. I've had it for, I bought it the year they came out, so this one's probably at least five or six years old. Uh, it's worked tons of races, tons of events, and just been my go-to kit at home. So I was just going to kind of run, run you through what it has. Um, this is the Studio Toolbox. Uh, it's their biggest all-in-one kit. It's part number BM8005. Uh, and it's just like a, if you have nothing, you can buy this and you've got pretty much everything you'll need to maintain your bike for 99% for of the work you're going to do. Um, and yeah, we'll do a quick little run through on it. It's a, it's a nice box, good beefy handle, beefy latches. Again, it's been all over the country working a few, not all over the country, all over the southwest, working races and events and stuff. Um, so when you open it up, it's kind of split into two different compartments. This is the top stuff, your quick grab tools so you've got your screwdrivers a universal crank puller so that'll work with you know all those pesky cranks um allen keys and it's the the same one that they sell standalone so it's uh got all the individual l keys on it you also have your torx stuff you have a flat kit, which or a patch kit, which I've never used. Um, tire levers, just small. I think it's a 10 millimeter wrench, a 10 and an 8 mil wrench. Uh, little needle file, uh, flathead screwdriver, Phillips cable cutters, your quick link pliers. Oh, no. There you go, very handy tool, love those guys. Um, all the popular uh, like bottom bracket cassette tools and your big your big hexes for, for stuff that's stubborn. Uh, and what those go to, this is in the middle, just a little foam pad. Um, I'll start from top to bottom. A uh, good adjustable wrench with all your markings on the top just makes it easier. And it's a good one. There's like very little play in it. It's a solid wrench. I've used it for, for just about every repair. Uh, nice pad spreader and it gives you a big handle so you can manipulate really stubborn pads. Um, this is the, the one, of, one of their chain whips. Uh, they do one that's like a pair of pliers. Um, but that wouldn't fit in the box. Um, so here's the more traditional looking one. Uh, 15 mil pedal wrench. And the best rotor truing tool I've ever used. Nothing has come close to it so far. Uh, you can get tons of leverage or a little leverage, whatever you want there for really awesome. And then under that is the, the last bits of everything. Um, Cutting guide for fork crowns, handlebars, whatever you need. Um, the good old Shimano, uh, I don't know, preload end cap tightener thing. And it's a really nice metal one, so you can get some real uh, power behind it. Really, really nice chain tool. Uh, it's one of my favorite ones so far. Uh, everything on it's replaceable. It's got an adjustable chain catch slide thingy just has a nice like good motion it's not wobbly like some of the cheaper ones out there uh, good old hollow tech bottom bracket tool oh and you'll see a lot of lots of these are um, quarter inch drives this is the kind of like breaker cheater bar socket wrench whatever you want it's not a ratcheting one uh, but for everything I've used it for, it's just been solid and they all just clip in. Uh, what else have we got? Spoke wrench, good combination spoke wrench. Nothing super fancy, but it has all your popular sizes. If you need it in a pinch. Uh, chain checker, your, your crown race setter. This one's really nice because it doesn't fully fall apart. You screw it in, put it on the fork, and when you hit it, you can actually watch it go down so you know exactly when it's set 
and you don't have to mar up the top of your fork by kind of guessing. Um, Mavic spoke tool, uh, awesome tape measure. I use this for everything. Uh, needle nose pliers, uh, chain ring tool, and cutters. And I think that's it. Awesome kit. Again, I've, this is my personal one. I paid full price for it. Oh, also a hammer. Can never, never forget the hammer. Just a good dead blow hammer whenever you need it. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, that's everything. And yeah, again, I like it. I've never regretted buying it. Been really happy I bought it most, most of this time. And I've actually taken this over like shop tools to many events just because it's as you probably know, nicer to work with good tools than cheap, worn-out tools. Uh, so yeah, check it out. Uh, again, part number is BM8005. Uh, and yeah, good, good toolbox for summer. Thanks.